everyone. Welcome back to Cara Jo Plans. I am planning in my Liveridge Planner this week for the week of June 27th through July 3rd. And I'm going to use this Golden Days kit from Life in Envelopes. And it's the last week in June already, guys. Where did... I don't know. Where did it go? <laughs> Oh my goodness, like, I, I can't believe how fast June went. My kids were gone for two weeks, and then I blink, and it's almost July. How crazy is that? So, we've got another busy week coming up. This one was by far the busiest. They came back, we had appointments. Um, both of them had to go to the dentist. They both have to go back to the dentist. Logan, um, well, actually, both of my kids were very late getting their teeth when they were babies. And that has kind of continued on that they are both very slow in losing their teeth. Um, so Logan's nine and I think he's only lost like three teeth. Naturally, one got knocked out when he was a toddler um, and they'd never like replanted it or anything. Um, so he has a couple teeth that he needs to get removed and Jackson has one that is a baby tooth, but it has a cavity in it. But considering he's seven and hasn't lost any teeth yet, they want to do a filling on it because they anticipate that he will have it for a couple more years because it's a molar. But he does have a loose tooth and one it's coming up behind it. So we're getting there. We're getting to where he's losing his first tooth here at seven and a half. Um, I don't know like I think it's I don't obviously remember like when I started losing my teeth and stuff and the dentist doesn't seem concerned but I feel like all of their friends have probably lost way more teeth than they have so if you have kids like do you know uh, this is really late isn't it <laughs> like they're kind of dilly-dallying on their teeth losing here I think so I had that one day they went to the pool. They finally got their yearbooks from school, which were delayed at the printers. Um, we're going to Kennywood again tomorrow. It's hot and miserable. And it's going to be hot and miserable tomorrow too. So, yay. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, the kids did get baptized on Sunday. So that was really nice. Logan was super excited and proud of himself. And of course, Jackson was too. Um, Jackson wasn't quite as nervous as Logan was. So, but all went well. And it was a good day. And that's about it, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just losing my mind. Work's been, it's been steady. Not crazy busy, but steady work. Um, didn't get my grass cut this week yet, and I just looked out in the back, and it looks awful. But if we're going to Kennywood tomorrow, chances are it's not getting done tomorrow, and it looks like rain on Sunday, so I don't know about that. We'll see. I did hop back into, so back when I used to sell LuLaRoe, I don't know if you got any, any of you guys were around back then. Probably not, because I don't remember... <laughs> If I was still doing LuLaRoe when I first started doing planning videos, I can't quite remember how long. I don't know. But anyhow, I used to do Facebook Lives two and three times a week when I was doing LuLaRoe. And I was so comfortable in front of the camera and talking to people that weren't there. And yeah. So I went live last night kind of to go over the Audair products and the special promotion that I have going on. And I was so nervous. I was so nervous. Um, yeah, I, it, ooh, ooh, I was nervous. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I'm like totally blanking. Um, but I made it. I was live for about 12 minutes. I think two people actually jumped on while I was live and I was only on Instagram. I did not do a Facebook live yet. I was thinking about either one night this weekend trying to do Facebook Live. I don't know, it's not, and it's different because like when I was doing the LuLaRoe, obviously you have inventory of clothes to show 
and you can change the shirt that you're showing, whatever, etc. You you have like a lot more you can talk about with um, with Audair. I have the five products. And I can talk about their ingredients, but mostly I just want to like chat and talk about like hair struggles and how they can help you with your hair um, and just be live and kind of get to know who's watching. So it's a little bit of a different format. And again, it's a different format from doing this too, because I'm kind of doing my plans or doing my budgeting while I'm talking to you. So, but it was fun. And I know the more that I do it, I will get better at it again, and I will get comfortable in front of the camera again. I used to teach high school. I mean, I've, I'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah, but I hopped back in. So the first one is whew, out of the way. That was fun. I did put a poll up today. I don't know what, if this, it'll still be live once this video goes up. I don't think so. But trying to pick out my nails. And I think I'm going to do that every time before I go get my nails done. Put up a poll to help you guys, have you guys help me pick what nails I get that week. So you'll have to wait and see in next week's video what I went, up, went with. Unless you want to check out Instagram. Because I usually post them on my Instagram stories once I get my nails done. Kind of thinking of going a little more flashy. These are kind of flashy. They are like blue and green sparkles with like a mint accent. Um, but thinking about something a little wild and crazy next time, we'll see. If you saw the poll, you kind of know what I'm thinking about. And it's a color, one of them's a color that I don't normally play with at all, so. There's that. Okay, we have, oh, I have some appointments this week. We have my nail appointment on Tuesday. And then Logan has a med check on Wednesday, so I will have to leave work early on Wednesday. That's an early appointment, too. It's the latest I could get that day, but then we'll make it work. And then I have a couple Zooms that I need to be on this week. Two 10 o'clocks and a one o'clock for training. Um, oh, I did, I trimmed my hedges. So that was fun, I got a new hedge trimmer. So I got that done. I did part of it last Friday, so I probably already told you. And then I did more of it Saturday and kind of got rid of like this, um, I, don't, I don't know. It was terrible in my front corner of my yard because I've never landscaped. Um, the lady that lived here before me had like beautiful flowers and stuff and had it landscaped really nice at some point and it just was in bad shape when I got here and then it continued to be in bad shape so yeah all right so I need to order groceries and do a grocery pickup this week which is also a painful thing um, let's see yeah I can pick them up on my way there where, no, wait, where do I have to go to for med check? Goodness gracious, I can't remember. What am I doing? Yeah, I can go, okay. I know, I, I can go after the med check. I just go in the other direction. Um, yeah, so I'm not a big, I used to do like the one flower garden, um, but I have not, I haven't even done that in a couple years just well I didn't do flowers like when um, we were quarantined I just didn't get any and now it's kind of it it all needs redone like the retaining wall needs redone and there's just a lot of stuff that could use some love so I need a landscaper so that's one of my projects I think for next year is I'm going to make a sinking fund for a landscaper and have somebody come and do everything the right way 
Um, and I don't think we'll have sparring this weekend because it's a holiday weekend. So I'm going to plan on doing meal prep and laundry on Sunday. And I was honestly thinking about going to Kennywood again on Saturday. We'll see. So I'm going to put that on here and plan on pizza for dinner. We'll see how that turns out. And I can't find my, um, I'll get this sticker. Like normally I do like the, um, the roller coaster or something. I've got to find those. They're, they're dug away somewhere. So I've got that. And then I do want to go live twice with Audare. I'm thinking Tuesday night around nine o'clock would be a good one. And Thursday night. So I don't know whether it's going to be Instagram or Facebook yet, but I do plan on going live twice next week as well. And then my budget video because I have all my other stuff I want to put on the top now. Uh, I'll put it up here. Okay, my budget video will go out on Tuesday. Then I will have a paycheck video for you guys on Thursday. I don't know if I did my last paycheck. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm struggling with the paychecks. And then my plan with me will be up on Saturday. And I'm thinking we're going to have a little movie night on Saturday night, or Sunday night. It's a holiday weekend. I don't know if there's going to be fireworks here or not. Listen, I am so unprepared. I have no idea what's going on in the community. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just don't have a clue. Um, and then I will do some of my social media stuff on Tuesday. And I will do a dare on Wednesday. And I will need to film some reels. It all depends on what I get done this weekend. I think I'm going to have enough done that I can do this on Sunday. So I'll plan on filming reels and probably editing reels both on Sunday. And I will work on content planning on Wednesday. And if all goes well, I will get a nap in on Sunday as well. <laughs> maybe, maybe yes. I have been, and I, I have a pretty good idea that it is because of my diet, but I have been crashing at night at like 6.30. Like my eyes get so heavy and I cannot stay awake any longer. And I think it probably has something to do with like missing out on some kind of nutrient or something. Um, but yeah, I mean like, it's like, I better go to bed like right now or lay down on the couch cause nothing is getting done. I mean, my eyes just get so, so heavy. So I don't know. And I, that's why I keep trying to do the meal prep. Um, I did one week really well. I prepped veggies. I prepped lunches. I had fruit cut up and ready to go. And then the next week I didn't do it. So <laughs> I just need to get disciplined enough to go to the grocery store every week and get those the fresh produce and that and take some time on Sundays to make my lunches for the week. And I think that's the biggest thing that I need to work on because that's really where I'm struggling. Um, when, okay, so the kids are probably gonna go to their dad's early on Monday and then they will come back doo -doo -doo, on Wednesday night at some point, who knows when. But, yeah, so I, I, I need to get more consistent with meal prepping. And I don't even care if I eat the same thing every week. Like, that's not even the problem. It's literally just going in the kitchen and making myself do it. Because I always find other stuff to do. Cleaning, home projects, work, uh, filming videos, filming reels. You know, anything that, <laughs> that'll keep me out of the kitchen, I try to do. 
So that's that's my weakness. All right, so then we've got posting reels every day. I'll fly through these real quick. And I should move these up just a little bit. Let's put these here. Eh, I'm struggling. Struggle bus. Um, so I posted a question on my Instagram stories, which I'm, I'm going to ask you guys too. So everybody I see is reading Colleen Hoover books. And I know I could probably Google and see what it's all about. But I want to know, are you guys into this Colleen Hoover craze? And if so, like what kind of books are they? Where should I start if I wanted to read them? I I'm just curious because it seems like everywhere I go, Colleen Hoover is popping up. And they're all different books that, that I've seen. Like, no, nobody's reading the same book. So I'm just curious, like, what, what I'm missing. Somebody help me out here. I have no idea what I'm missing. And I do want to get back into reading. I have started reading personal development books every day for about 15 minutes every day. So I feel like I, I could get back into reading for entertainment again. Um, but I need to know the scoop. Or if that's not a good place for me to start, what suggestions do you have? What are you guys reading? What do you like? Um, I'm not even sure what kind of reading style I have right now. I know I don't want like just sappy romance novels, um, but I like a good story. I like, so give me some recommendations. I don't know. It's probably been, ugh close to a decade since I've kind of like read for pleasure. I, I've read like autobiographies and personal development books, but like to read like a, a novel novel, it's been a minute. Um, okay, a couple more and then I'm just gonna put these Instagram stickers and Facebook stickers across here. And I feel like you guys are done. So that's what the rest of the week's gonna look like. I'm gonna fill in the Instagram and the Facebook throughout the days, but make sure you leave your book recommendations, tell me what I'm missing out on, and what you guys are up to for the 4th. If you celebrate the 4th, if you're in the United States, it's the Independence Day thing. Let me know what's going on. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, head over to YouTube, um, not YouTube, Instagram and Facebook to see what else you're missing with my life. Have a great day, guys. Bye.